welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly Stevens. I'm a teacher and author and this is English Nerd. Today I have another uh, poetry analysis for you. So today it's going to be William Carlos Williams' The Red Wheelbarrow. It's kind of infamous for being so simple and so I wanted to give you an idea about how to approach something if it seems like it might be overly simple what can you what can you say about it what is there to say about it so without further ado here we go that's right believe it or not this is the entire poem so this is going to be a much shorter poetry analysis than I would ordinarily do because there's not as much here however let's see what we can mine from something that is so incredibly simple like this so um, just pro tip, if your last name is Williams, maybe don't name your child William, but that's that's a side note. All right, The Red Wheelbarrow is, as far as I'm aware, his most famous poem. Let's get into it. So much depends upon a red wheelbarrow glazed with rainwater beside the white chickens. Okay, the first thing I want you to notice is the shape of the stanzas here. And yes, these do count as stanzas. There's the white space in between. This is a wheelbarrow shaped um, stanza. So there is some form and content here. I've talked about form and content on this channel before. It's where the style or the form of a work of literature matches and enhances what it's talking about. So here there's literally the shape itself. Um, also the rest of the poem all depends, hangs on, this word so much depends upon and you can almost see it as a kind of um not a mobile <laughs> but you get the idea everything's everything's hanging on that uh so so much depends upon a red wheelbarrow glazed with rainwater beside the white chickens so we have some really nice clear imagery here we have the colors the red wheelbarrow the white chickens glazed is a really beautiful um, word choice glazed with rainwater. So all of this allows us to clearly picture this. It's almost more like a painting than a poem. We can see the red wheelbarrow. We can see it sort of glazed over as it says here beside the white chickens. Um, so going back to this, so much depends. Not only does the rest of the poem hang on this word but there's also this sense that the meaning also um is important as well so all so much it doesn't specify what exactly but so much depends upon this simplicity this um very mundane not glorified kind of work um so you have a red wheelbarrow kind of associated with uh, farming, most likely. So these menial uh, jobs that are incredibly important, so much depends upon them, but they're not really seen as important in society. So it is making a, a societal comment um, in addition to presenting you with this nice, clear uh, image of the, the red wheelbarrow. So there's there's a little bit. The last thing that I'll say is that there is no punctuation here. It's It gives it almost a not quite a stream of consciousness feel, but um, it's not very formal, um, much like the the job that they're that they're talking about here. It's not very formal, but you have these very concrete things that are enormously important to society. So there you go, The Red Wheelbarrow by William Carlos Williams. So that was it. I hope you got a little bit more out of this poem than maybe you got the first time when you were reading it. Um, as I record this, the AP Literature exam is only about two weeks away. And so for those of you who are preparing for a test or an exam of that nature, I hope this was helpful for you. Make sure to like this video if you like it. Do not forget to subscribe. There is so much more English nerdy goodness on this channel. I come out with new videos every Monday. So until next week, bye.